Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're watching John Wick 3. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are watching John Wick 3, Parabellum. I don't know what that means. I don't know what a parabellum is. Um, <laughs> it, it sounds like either a body part or something that takes place in space. I don't think that has anything to do with this whatsoever. Uh, it, it, it might be a, a different club other than the Continental. I'm not sure. Uh, but last we, we were with John, he was getting excommunicado. He is getting uh, uh, just uh, and internationally is getting put on the list of someone that needs to be eliminated. I love Winston. I loved the relationship that he had with John. And I could definitely tell in the last movie how hard it was for him to do that. But at the same time, he is still like kind of keeping his duties as as the owner of that Continental. And, and, and you know, like the rules be the rules. And whether or not he did it immediately or gave John a head start, uh, that's, you know, I think I think he's allowed. I think he, he's got enough power where he could do that. But John doesn't have anywhere to go after he kills Santino in the Continental like he's done. And you see all these people getting like, you know, their 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 messages and, you know, like he can't go to Aurelio. I don't think he can go to like the Pigeon King slash Morpheus. I, I don't. I don't know if we got what his name was or not, but like, it seems like he is, <laughs> he, he doesn't have any friends. He doesn't have any family. He doesn't have a house. He doesn't have a car. He does have a dog. Um, he's got his best friend. Uh, but I don't know where he goes. Like does, does, is Parabellum a place? Like I'm trying to like think like, what the hell does that even mean? And how does John get out of this scenario? And because there's a John Wick 4, obviously he survives this, but I don't know how that's possible. Now, in the last movie, um, there was like a, an instance where I was just like, why do they keep going back to this Akoni guy? And uh, I don't know if he's important in this. You know, it seemed like uh, John eliminated the people that were kind of in Akoni's way of ascension. So like maybe maybe he's like, hey, you helped me. I'll help you. I don't know if that's necessarily good for John or not. I don't know if we want that for John or not. Um, I don't know if that means he has to go back to Italy or wherever he was in the last movie. <laughs> but like, wh where where do we go from here? So I mean, and and I totally expect there to be uh, an, an up in the ante a little bit when it comes to the kill department. You know, I've I've already gotten the the two to the body, one to the head thing. So you know, I'm gonna be looking for that. But the, like the last movie, like he killed a guy, he killed two guys with one pencil. Phenomenal, it was amazing, and he has those kills, or like even when he like you know stabs Common in like the aorta, and it's just like mm -hmm. professional courtesy. I don't. I, I, is common coming back? Can you survive that? I don't know. Uh, it seems unlikely, but like I really liked common, so it'd be a bummer if we didn't see him again. But if we don't, also okay with it. Which means that they can also bring in different, I guess, guest stars or or somebody that's a little uh, higher profile to either fight John or work with John. I'm good with either. <laughs> but I'm not going to speculate any further because uh, I've been putting this movie off because I was sick and I couldn't record it back uh, during Christmas time. So now here we are in February. Uh, but I want to get this out before John Wick 4 and I want to be able to watch the trailer for John Wick 4. So guys, let's get into it. Oh, visually, it's already starting out phenomenal. Oh, I love the lighting. They showed the thumbprint thing again. I wonder if that means that uh, John or somebody owes John a favor, maybe. He's got a blood pact with them. Picking up right where we left off. Yeah, this switchboard is nuts. I like love it and hate it at the same time. And they always seem really busy and that seems like you shouldn't be that busy. Are that many people getting excommunicated or that many people being like lined up for assassination? Now it's just like makes me think of like there must, must be assassins just everywhere. Just <laughs> right around the corner. Maybe one right outside my front door. I have no idea. He's got a nice watch on. <laughs> but I know better, man. Oh. I know better. I know what I'm It's the homeless guy again. The New York Public Library. You got it. 
Okay. Gonna check out a book, a special book, the special coin in it. Can you see that he's received by the concierge? Oh. Yes, sir, Mr. Wayne. He knew who he was. He is a good dog. Oh, he's a good boy. Okay. Well, I was like, well, he's got a dog. He's got his best friend. Never mind. What if somebody else checked out that book and it wasn't there? Is there a gun in it? Well, not a gun, but important stuff, apparently. You were not made to live as brutes, but to follow virtue and knowledge. Oh, it's a big dude. In a library? Oh, oh! I'm so worried about stab wounds to the shoulder now that I know about the subclavian artery. Oh! It's so weird because there's no music and it's so quiet because it's a library. How are the people at the computer's not watching this? <laughs> I'm not mad at it. Oh! He killed a dude with a book! A pencil and a book! Jesus! It's fucking phenomenal. Bravo, John. He killed a guy with a book, and that's what I'm saying. Yeah, what are you gonna do, pigeon man? Let it be known the Bowery will honor the excommunicado. No help, no services of any kind. Well, can't go to him then. Doc, please, there's still time. No, I can't. Doc. Still have five minutes. I just don't want the clock to run over and then this guy gets, like, annihilated. Nick the artery. Hmm. That's what I was afraid of. Right. Yeah. Same. Three, two, one. I knew he wasn't gonna stop. Sorry, Mr. Wick. Oh, well, I guess he is. He's gonna... He's He's a badass. He's a badass. I could never. I could never. Top shelf. On the right. It will give you energy. Help with the pain. He's still trying to help without helping. They'll know. Know what? I told you where the medicine was. Just below my floating rib. Be sure not to hit my. Oh! Good shot, John, oh, but wait. damn! One may not be enough. It's gotta be enough, dude. Be sure not to graze my. <laughs> yeah, I guess you can't do a countdown if you're expecting it. Good luck, Mr. Wick. Thanks, Doc. Doc, you're a good man. God, he's willing to take two bullets. It's. Awesome. Oh, I love the lighting with the rain. That's one thing. It's like I, I enjoy the action and the fighting and, and, and the shooting and the precision. And I just really enjoy like the light design that they have, like everything. The stairwell. It's fantastic. Visual feast. Is he like literally making a gun? Is this what's happening? He is. He's putting one together. Is there nothing John Wick can't do? Like a Western. I love it. Look at all these weapons that he can like kill people with. This is amazing. It's pretty interesting that they're not using music to kind of like make the fight like feel more aggressive. It actually just feels like men fighting. Oh god. They're getting to the machete side of all the uh the, the cutlery. Swords and shit, yeah. Oh. oh god, that looks awful. Oh! Oh god. <laughs> Oh, 
Did he just catch a knife? Ugh. Oh! Oh, the groin knife. Yowza. Jesus! <laughs> Fucking axes, hatchets. I'm just gonna do this the whole time. Oh! 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 Uh, uh. Oh no! Uh-uh! Uh-uh! Mm -mm. No! 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 Mm. No! 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 Mm-mm. Whew. I don't do eyeballs. Someone's still alive? Wow. <laughs> it's your other buddy! It. For Santino! Jesus! John! He's indestructible! Well, I mean, I guess not. He, he bleeds. He bleeds a lot. But, like, how does he not break bones? Horse stalls? They just thought of, like, the craziest shit. Like, how, how do we kill, you know, this group of people? Fucking just horseshoes. Take a stallion to the forehead. I don't know. I just don't want any animals to die. Zero horses. Zero horses. You can use them as weapons, though. I don't mind that. <laughs> Figured that was going to happen at some point. Like, how do they even do this with these horses right here? The logistics of filming this? And not scaring every horse. And the horse is not being scared by the firearms. I mean, obviously that has to be CG, but it's still phenomenal. He's riding a horse? I fucking love it. Oh my god. So unexpected. But, like, I love it. Fucking, he has a six-shooter. He's on a horse. Why not? <laughs> He's got horsepower, just probably not enough. Wow. Why do I remember seeing a behind the scenes thing? I think it was this, where he was like in a gunfight on a motorcycle. Didn't expect a ballet. Wait. Is there like a another John Wick that's coming out where Ana de Armas is playing a ballerina or something? That Angelica Houston? Sup, girl? Oh, Giordani. What has become of you? Oof. Your teacher, Belrosi. Sirata is tribo primini. You are bound. I am old. This is intense. Is that my... Okay, we got some help. Hasn't Jessica Houston ever not been imposing? She is just a force. You hand me your ticket, I will tear it. Mm. If that's what you really desire. He doesn't really have much of a choice. I mean, he's got to, ooh. Wait, they're not gonna brand him, are they? But why not? He's been stabbed, he's been shot, he's gotten hit by five cars, bucked off a horse, why not? Your ticket is torn. Oh! Ha! <sighs> no. <sighs> And that ballerina had the same tattoo, though. Is she also an assassin? Is, is she creating assassins? The Red Room, but John Wick style? Hmm. Who's this? I don't recognize her. I 
wonder how many times he gets a coin just slid across real slow and he's just got to read between the lines. There is an adjudicator here to see. Adjudicator? What is an adjudicator? Seems important. I am here to adjudge you. Okay. You have one week to get your affairs in order. Excuse me? At such time, your successor will be named. Ah. Uh... There are rules. They are the only things that separate us. In the animals. Yes. You have seven days. Oh, 100%. He's going to help John Wick for the next seven days. There's an adjudicator here to see you. Why is she coming to see him? To give him the Continental? No IP addresses. No digital footprint. No matrix. Can't track it. Can't trace it. Can you get disease from it? <laughs> well, I wouldn't recommend that you eat it. <laughs> In seven days, you abdicate your throne. Mm. That's not gonna happen. You're telling me these two men are gonna give up the power that they have? Okay. Because I am the throne, baby. I am the Bowery! You have seven days. And then a girl is going to come crawling out of your TV. Here we go. We just saw what he could do with a knife. I'm not worried. Oh, all the snapping and cracking and popping and slicing. Enough. Who dis? It seems the manager has granted him amnesty. Mr. Jonathan. Would you be so kind as to come with me? Who's the manager? Oh, God. Oh! 15 million's a lot. Sophia? Sophia. Holly Berry? Sophia! You can't kill the bearer of your marker. I didn't kill you. I just shot you. It's fair. <laughs> oh, good dogs. I was talking to you, Joe. <laughs> Maybe somebody goes looking for my daughter. And I know what you did, John, to get her out. Do you want to know where she is? No, I don't ever want to know. Because I don't trust that I won't go find her. Oh, wow. A part of me longs for her. What a situation. That's why I gave you that marker in the first place. And that's why I'm sitting here right now. And that's why I'm fucked. This is intense. After this, we are less than even. We leave in 10 minutes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so he hid her daughter to keep her daughter safe. How can I help you? She really likes sliding that thing across the counter, doesn't she? Killed scores of men this past week alone because of a dog. A car. This has taken place in a week. All of this has happened in a week. I have served. I will be of service. Mm. Fuck. Wow. The fact that she even knew it was coming. Jesus Christ. Sophia. Always so nice to see. And the dogs, of course, are marvelous. May I pet one? Is that Bron? <laughs> From Game of Thrones. <laughs> Why would I allow you to live here alive when your life has been, by your own action, forfeit? I seek a meeting with the one who sits above the table. Who sits above the table? This dog. I do so love it. Does it shed a great deal? Occasionally. I love it. This dog. I will keep it. Excuse I knew it was coming. This will be my gift. 
Surely it's the least you can do. No, you cannot keep my dog. Everyone knows how important dogs well. are in this in this series. Very well. And I will kill you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Sophie. This was for you to learn. She's gonna kill you. Okay, I mean, kind of here for it. Holly Berry never ages either. Her and Keanu Reeves, just vampires. Yeah. That's right. Don't. Fair enough. He shot my dog. I get it. He does. <laughs> I have a hole in my leg and a dog gnawed off my balls. <laughs> wow. I like that he has help. <laughs> Not what I expected. Ooh, Jesus. I, I like the dog finishing off some of these guys. I think I've said it before, but I really like that like this is like kind of slow moving, that it's not like just like all fast and furious. It like feels like real fights. I really like her as an assassin, actually. Fits her really well. Good boys. The way they like keep going even after the person's dead. Ugh. A little bit of blood loss for the dogs. Ooh. <laughs> Too slow. Yeah, I was like waiting for her to kind of like get like physically imposed on. Nice. I do like it that they're not making her physically imposing, that like she's not like super strong, like a superhero, like she's just quick. Nice. So he's just gonna wander out to the desert until he almost dies under Orion's belt. That seems like a horrible plan. <laughs> Better get going. Sophia. That's a rather small part for her to play, but very significant at the same time. Just John Wick wandering through the desert wearing a suit. With Halle Berry's spit in a bottle. <laughs> you gave John Wick seven bullets. Your penance will be paid with seven cuts. Well, sometimes you gotta cut a motherfucker. <laughs> the king is dead. Long live the king. <laughs> oh. Okay, I did not see that happening, but here we are. So the, 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 I forgot what he called him. I want to say like the eternal, but the, the, the guy higher than the high table is, he's just out in the middle of the desert with camels. Drink. The elder. Don't worry. The eternal. Still there. Please drink. That guy's in Wonder Woman. Benny? Is that his name? I can't remember. I can give you one last chance to earn a life. Complete a task for us, and your excommunicado will be reversed. The oh, wow, well, he has that blood. power? The cost of your life will be the death of others, the first of which will be the man they call Winston. No. He can't kill Winston. 
I mean, he can. I don't want him to. I will serve. Fuck. I will be of service. Cast aside your weakness and reaffirm your fealty to the table. What is happening? <gasps> what the fuck? Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh. Oh, I, I don't. I wish you good luck on your path. Mm hmm. Good luck, John. Yeah. Gosh, if Helen didn't get cancer and die, none of this would be happening right now. Is this going to be the scene that I saw where he's fighting somebody on a, on a motorcycle? Is it going to be this guy? Because I'm just, I'm getting common flashbacks. And normally the, the head dude, the, 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 the main assassin, the major assassin does not fare well with John. They have a face off and John gives him a professional courtesy. Whoa, that's a cool shot. Wild, 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 wild. It, it's... Oh, oh. <laughs> I mean, I have a hard time on a regular bike. I don't know how they're doing this on motorcycles. Into the Continental? Oh, 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 God, I thought he was gonna drive up the stairs. Here we go. So, put your weapon down. That's right. I'd like to see the manager. <laughs> if you would be so kind as to follow me. Wild, 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 wild. And of course, Winston's going to help him, but does he tell Winston, like, I have to kill you for the Elder? As close to John as possible? <laughs> I've been looking forward to meeting you for a long time. I'm a huge fan. John Wick. It's like a fanboy? So you haven't disappointed. Oh, hi, boy. Is that the dog? We're the same, you know. Both given the same gift. We're not the same. Oh, yeah? Yes, we are. Is there bacon grease on his face? Who do you wish to die as? The Baba Yaga? The mm. last thing many men ever see? Or as a man who loved and was loved by his wife? Please work together. Please. Have you decided to step down? I think not. And you? Will you be putting a bullet in his head? No. I don't think I will. <laughs> New designation? Deconsecrated. Deconsecrated? The New York Continental Hotel has been deconsecrated. Goodbye. Our service is still off limits to me. Under the circumstances, your privileges are reinstated immediately. What do you need? Guns. <laughs> Lots of guns. I like it. I like it. <laughs> oh, let's see what's in this vault. That is a beautiful room. Well, that's... Oh, Parabellum. Just saw that on the side of the bus. 
It's kind of not fair that it's like a SWAT team. I guess what's fair in this world, though? Remember the sommelier from the last movie? Such a great scene. Well, we know she's in 217, so if someone makes it to 217 and things happen, I'm okay with it. See who's back in. Parabellum. Parabellum. Telling you the lighting in these movies is just top notch. It starts. Uh oh. They got really good armor. Oh, it's gonna take a lot of bullets. Shit, it's like killing a dragon. You just have to get it in the right spot. Does anyone have a grenade? Rocket launcher? A pocket tank? This doesn't seem like it's gonna end well for us. Jesus. Okay, well, the two to the body, the one to the head no longer works. I need more firepower. <laughs> At your service. Yes, my boy made it. Okay. He looks pissed. <laughs> Winston just having a good time. I mean, they can't keep running down to the basement every single time they need to, like, reload. Effective. Super effective. He better make it out of this alive. I'm just saying. I don't know if it's Charon, Charon, Yaron, or how, however Winston was saying it, it, Lance Riddick needs to make it out of this alive. One per person, John. Don't be wasting your ammo. It takes so long to reload. Uh, it's so long. It's a choo choo choo. Like, it's not really that much. The set design is just amazing on this. I think I, I rave about it every movie. The set design is always just so gorgeous. The lighting is perfect. Oh wait, are we at the club again? Oh, nice. Wild, wild. Oh, oh okay. The Continental Hotel. I know you believe you can keep this up, but I assure you. <laughs> it's like just the best fuck you in the world. <laughs> oh. Jesus. A lot of fancy moves. Just knock him out with your fist. If you can find him. Come on, John. Jesus. Grab one of those skulls and knock him in the head with it. Where are these people coming from? <laughs> Jesus. I do not like seeing John getting his ass kicked. Yeah, good shot. Jesus. Jesus. Oh, 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 oh. I don't know why being shot or getting punched, no big deal, but sliced. <laughs> <laughs> What's up with the double thumbs up? It's so weird. 
God. Oh. Jesus. That's fair. That's a very fair assessment. He is still John Wick, so watch your mouth. <laughs> and he's had a hard week, a really, really hard week. I guess the belt was a worthy weapon. Uh, I am exhausted watching this. This is such a long hand-to-hand -hand combat fight. Oh. Oh! Damn. Checkmate. If I didn't have to kill you, we'd be pals. Let's do this. <laughs> okay. Kind of calling him out on it that he wants to fight more than anything. Oh. The, the, the sharp stuff. I don't like the sharp stuff. Oh my god. The whole design of this fight is amazing with the glass and the mirrors and the reflections and like the flames and the screens and the lights. Tables have turned. I feel like the more tired John gets, like the more angry he gets, the more like sharp he gets. God, the lighting! <sighs> At least it wasn't out to the road. Nice. Not giving up. Oh, 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 oh! Oh no. His name is Zero. I just now learned his name was Zero. That was a pretty good fight, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about me, John. You just gotta catch my breath. Get back in the game. I'll catch up to you, John. Be seeing you. No, you won't. Well, he was an interesting character that I didn't learn his name till the end. My allegiances run way beyond this building. We are high table. And we are New York City. <laughs> like everywhere you turn, there was an assassin. They're everywhere. What are we going to do about John Wick? I'd like to know, Winston. Oh, he has to die. <gasps> Sorry, Jonathan. It's a ruse. It's a ruse. It's a ruse. Oh! Oh! Very well, gentlemen. The Continental will now be reconsecrated. Good day to you both. Well played, sir. Really? Yes! With some cool fucking scars! 
Oh, be nice to John. Good grief. Raise a hand if you can hear me, John. Oh, shit. They took a finger. Ain't that a bitch? <laughs> <laughs> Can't say I blame him. I would have done the same thing if I was in his shoes. But this high table shit. I feel like Winston is not against John. Let me ask you, John. How do you feel? Because I am really pissed off. Good. You pissed John. Yeah. Well, I really can't wait for number four. I, I feel like I need to watch that trailer sooner rather than later. Okay, Parabellum actually does mean prepare for war. Okay, I'm glad I didn't look that up ahead of time because I was just like, like that sounds like a, a, a spaceship name. I knew it wasn't going to take place in space, but that's like how out of the realm of thinking I was of what Parabellum could possibly mean. Uh, so this movie was all over the place, but kind of in the best ways. Um, uh, the, obviously the big chunk of it took place at the Continental at the end. Um, and I can't really tell if Winston was like really sacrificing John or not, or if John knows better. I feel like John would know better. I, I feel like... I feel like John knows that he had to make that play in order to keep the Continental, which I think the Continental will still help protect John, maybe a little bit. But knowing that the the king, I don't, I still don't know what his name is, but like the 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 Bowery King is still uh, uh, alive and well and angry and pissed off and uh, wants to wants to fire up John. Oh gosh, so I I feel like. I don't know where loyalties lie anywhere in here because I was just like, there's no way that Winston is going to turn his back on John. And very much so, he was just like, he's excommunicated and uh, he has to fend for himself. And then when John was sent to kill him, he's like, hey, like, let's work together. Um, so I wasn't sure. I still, I feel like me doubting Winston's loyalty to John now would just be silly. I feel like Especially with with Charon, like looking at him and saying, "Well played, sir." I I don't I don't think he would sacrifice John either. Um, I I do think that it was kind of like this thing. It was just like, you know, we're still gonna help you after this. But that was a gnarly fall. Like like I don't I don't know how I was gonna say I don't know how John's walking after that. Obviously he wasn't. <laughs> he was in a grocery cart. Um, but. Uh, I, John, man, he can just, like, take a fucking beating. And this took place over a week. Like, this has just been a week. He's aged so much. It's like five years has gone by. <laughs> um, I did see, and I I don't know if it was a Keanu Reeves interview or not, but I did see the the portion where he was fighting somebody um, on the motorcycles, and it didn't really click that it was this movie until um, I saw the motorcycles, but also when he's riding on horseback, because I was like, wait, why am I remembering him fighting somebody on a motorcycle? Um, and I feel like that was like real fighting, even though like some of it, you can tell like there was CGI involved. They're probably not going that fast. Um you know, uh, there, there might be like a truck that's stabilizing them, but like I feel like uh, they're, they're, that hand to hand combat on a moving thing in the open is just really hard. I mean, I definitely like that we got a different mix of different places where we have like Casablanca and then we have the, the Continental, but the different floors of the Continental, especially the administrative wing. The That whole thing, I feel like... Um, it not only was visually stunning, but it's like really hard to make things look good. And it looked fantastic. Like there, and I, I know that there's camera trickery and there's, you know, CG stuff that they can do and digitally fix stuff. But I feel like with the lighting, with the glass, the reflections, like just the, the sword play, everything breaking, shattering, just a lot of the visuals, just of that whole administrative part is just, it was so gorgeous and perfect. 
And I absolutely love it. And I love how the whole movie is lit, whether it is, you know, him running through the rain and you have the different colors in the background or even inside of the Continental with the green lights, um, just Casablanca itself. Uh, just there was there was a lot of a lot of stuff. And then, of course, you have like the little outdoor tent with the elder, um, which I, I don't it, who the hell is he and why is he out in the middle of the desert and why is he in charge of freaking anything how is he bigger than the high table uh, i don't i don't know if we get background or not but i'm just like mm, i don't know why he's so special I'll, i could probably find out uh but we do know that angelica houston's character uh like she she got a sword through her hands but she's still alive and it wasn't until i saw the ballerina that i remembered the anna de armas uh spin-off that like I, th I don't know if it's called the ballerina or like something along that line maybe it's like uh, a different language for the word ballerina <laughs> la ballerina um, <laughs> but i do remember hearing something about that which i think is fantastic because anna de armas is just special she's really special i i dig her a lot holly berry's character was kind of a surprise and and it was very short and i actually appreciated that because the last movie what i didn't like um, necessarily was that like Ruby Rose was in it and it seemed like her character like really didn't do much or have that big of a part and it wasn't as meaningful but like she seemed to be throughout the entire movie to where you know Holly Berry's character very much was just like contained into that one scene and then Bronn from uh, Game of Thrones that was unexpected and I liked it I dug it um, but it did seem like, like there was just like a lot of like travel for John to go place to place to place. And there was, there's never any rest for him. He never just gets to sit and chill for a hot second and collect his thoughts. The last time I think I saw him lie down to have like a little bit of rest, uh, Willem Dafoe shot the pillow next to him to warn him that there was an assassin that was going to kill him. <laughs> okay. So now I don't know who we're at war with though. Are we at war with the high table? And just the high table? Are we at war with the high table in the Continental? Like, I still feel like Winston is, is somebody that we can trust, but like, we're made to think that we can't trust him. Um, I don't know. I, I, I know that this has been adapted from a comic book or a graphic novel, one of those two. And uh, I know there, there's a lot of answers that um, you guys could probably post in the comments. Don't. <laughs> don't ruin anything. Don't spoil anything. Um, but I'm also going to watch the John Wick 4 trailer uh, not too long after I watch this. But uh, it will be posted after this one is posted on YouTube. But in the meantime, guys, you can find the full length reaction on my patreon as well as following reactions to other movies and other shows that i'm watching uh but also remember to like subscribe leave a comment down below i don't even know what to ask that like i i always have like a question where i'm like what do you think his next move is well people that know the story of jen wick probably know what his next move is people that have watched the the trailer probably know what his next move is i guess the thing that i would say is is like like what's your favorite john wick kill because like a pencil, a book, and like like some of these, like, like, I mean, like he's got like big, long, drawn out fight scenes, and then he's got like little quick ones. And I, I'll tell you, like, if you had to pick between the pencil and the book, I'm taking the book. Like a pencil's like sharp, and that's like something you think you could stab somebody with. I would never have thought to break somebody's neck with a book. I I I would never think about breaking somebody's neck. <laughs> But guys, come back here because once 4 is available for streaming, I will be doing a reaction for that. And I will be watching the trailer for John Wick 4. And I will be releasing that soon. I know I keep saying soon, um, but I really mean it this time. Before the movie comes out, this will be posted. <laughs> okay, guys. I'll see ya.